It's been a while. This will be a bit of status update. And first of all, I'm gonna address the elephant in the room. If you've been trying to reach me on Facebook, then you will notice. It's like Onki Zomba or Dennis never existed. My Facebook profile and page have been recently deleted. I'm gonna share what's coming next and how can you prepare so your profile is not getting deleted because it's real. The most likely reason why the page and profile was deleted was the copyright on the music. This issue is solved on YouTube. When you use someone else's music, content creator can claim that music and automatically advertise on my video. On Facebook, they haven't solved that. And I actually talked to one woman who's working on Facebook. And she's trying to get this thing through. But for now, there is no solution. Facebook basically says that you're abusing their policies. If you're not playing by their rules, then your profile and the page will get deleted. I understand no way of coming back. There's no way to reach their support. You can submit appeal, which I did, but never got a reply. I know that there are many other pages using music and making those dance videos, that's why I thought it's never an issue. I was using original songs which improved the video and audio quality, so actually me doing extra work was a bigger issue there. Now I'm going to share the lessons that I learned when my Facebook page and profile was disabled. I understood I was associating my identity with this Facebook profile. That's who I am. And when it was gone, I understood that my identity is not defined by social media profile. My friends are not defined by my Facebook friends. And this just gives me more space to focus on those real connections. My approach is that everything happens for good and everything happens for a reason. I'm actually grateful that they disabled the page now, not after a few years. The message is clear. If you're in someone else's house, you live there, if the owner doesn't like what you're doing, he can put you out of the house. The same is with Facebook. If you're in their house and you're not following by their rules, whatever they may be, they can easily put you out of the house. That made me understand how important it is to work on my own website, on Onkizomba, because no one can take it away. And for you, I think it's also important to understand that your social media profile is not your identity. So don't overfocus on it, I would say. Other thing, just be careful. Don't post full dance videos with good music on Facebook. You can put on YouTube videos or maybe just add a little Facebook preview video, which is not the best, but it's much safer. If you make dance music videos, you'll be far better off on YouTube. So what's coming next? Because of what happened with Facebook, I took this as a message that I should be working on the website. I want to create this community where you don't know which is the good festival you should go to, which are the good artists to learn from, or the good music, which are the trusted trainings, trainers, artists you should learn from. Instead of looking around, just go to Onki Zomba and it's gonna all be there. I want to put all my capabilities, dancing experience, online business experience in building this website. So I really want to share everything I learned and I'm learning. So for next four months, November, December, January, February, I have only three festivals planned. The rest of the time, I'm going to just stay at home and grind and grind and work on this thing. So now some personal updates. Now leaving to the bus and parting our ways. What are we doing, babe? Calendar planning. Quick update. Nasty is here. <laughs> That's my excuse for one week of no vlogs. <laughs> Meaning I've been already sitting here for a week. <laughs> Just a week. Other thing, last week I went to Amsterdam Festival. I want to thank everyone here. In the next video I will share some more things about the festival. But the overall experience was really, really amazing. 
and I have a special surprise for you. I got to interview Ronnie Saleh, who's been a huge inspiration for me and he's an amazing dancer. Dinos Anki Zomba, thanks for having me with you. You had a question for me. If you remember, I asked for your help previously to give me some idea what questions to ask. Some of them are answered. Finally, if uh, you have any friends who are following and enjoying Onki Zomba on Facebook, talk to them and say that now everything is going on on YouTube. I'm not gone, but I'm gone from Facebook. So now the main focus will be working on the website, onkizomba.com, and I'm gonna share all the updates and keep vlogging, making new videos on YouTube. So that's it. I wish you an awesome day. Ooh.